welcome to another video today we are doing a christmas dinner recipe ideas i don't really know what to call it but i am making a christmas dinner for you guys and hopefully you guys get some great inspo from today's meals and recipes and ideas so i really hope you enjoy it so today we are actually doing a really amazing collaboration with Britney's Beautiful Chaos. If you enjoy a lot of what I do and a lot of my inspiration, you will really enjoy her inspiration for her cooking, her baking, her cleaning and decorating, her family challenges, her mommy progress and recovery is so good. So if you really want to see that and also see some of her beautiful doggies, go over and check out her channel and give her a big thumbs up and subscribe and tell her Michaela sent you. Okay. So now we are just starting off this dinner making video <laughs> um, with some delicious cranberry mimosas. So instead of just a regular mimosa, we actually switched out the orange juice with cranberry um, juice and we put some sugar on the rim of our glasses just to give it that extra sweetness. And then you can do as much cranberry juice and as much champagne as you would like. I am using the Cupcake Prosecco, which is so, so, so good. It is one of my favorite champagnes. It's just delicious. Um, if you have not tried it, you should really try it. Um, I was trying to measure it out like the recipe said, but since my glasses weren't mimosa champagne glasses, um, I just did however much I thought I would want and then I just topped it off with some cranberries and it was so delicious I honestly recommend you guys trying this a wonderful amazing drink out it was so good making more funeral potatoes in the thanksgiving meals recipes um video you guys saw us make um funeral potatoes before but this batch and this recipe that we actually used this time is so different from the batch and the recipe we used last time so if you guys did test out those funeral potatoes and they weren't the best or you really did like them um i have a new one for the people who might have not liked that recipe so this one is actually a really amazing recipe and i enjoy it a lot um and but if you did like the last recipe good job for making it perfectly because i did not um i was not a huge fan but this time we did make it with cream of potato um i know it calls for cream of chicken but my mom is vegetarian and so we like to help her out because i don't mind living vegetarian it's actually not horrible um but my boyfriend and i and my son still kind of do have a little bit of meat in our um, meals and everything which is completely fine but for the most part we do substitute but ve um being vegetarian and going more with vegetarian stuff than having all meat um but it's honestly up to you. you can still use cream of chicken or you can do cream of potato cream of celery cream of garlic and onion there are so many different kinds and so we actually did cream of potato this time and it was so delicious so if you guys want to remake it this batch is super super good So now we are on to making the frog eye. Um, this you guys have seen us make frog eye before, and every single time we've made the frog eye it actually turns out really good but this time we did forget to go get um the 
frog eye noodles and we went to the store three times that's what's funny about this is we forgot so many things that we had to keep running back to the store but we at the end we really did forget about the noodles for the frog eye and we did not want to run back to the store because i ran out like twice myself and my mom ran out once and we were just like whatever we have some noodles but we did not do the measurement right we used too much of like the um fruit uh, fruit cream or whatever custard you mix the noodles with we used too much so we had to end up draining it um, it just was a whole mess it took too long and next time we're just going to follow the recipe and get as many noodles as we need um, but we just did not want to run out again so I tried the frog eye once it was done and I did not like it and I love frog eye when I was pregnant I would eat frog eye every single day it's not healthy but that's just always been what I crave um, when I was younger um, we'd go up to Idaho with my grandparents and my grandma used to make frog eye all the time and so me growing up with frog eye um, it just brings back memories and it just tastes so good I love frog eye um, so we always try to make it um, but this time it just was not good so we ended up just dumping it all out which was a total waste and it broke my heart but next time we're gonna make it perfect again.
to making the pies. So I made a vanilla gingerbread cream pie and a chocolate gingerbread cream pie. They were both similar, but the only difference was the chocolate and the vanilla. But what's crazy is that they tasted so differently even though they had the exact same things in them. And also the um, texture of both the pies were so different. The vanilla was more smooth and um, soft and fluffy and the chocolate was more dense and pudding like um, but they both tasted really good so with the chocolate I thought was instant pudding but it wasn't we had to put on the stove and let it thicken up and boil um, but the vanilla was instant pudding so all I had to do was blend it with the hand blender and it ended up working just fine and they were super good I put like ginger and cinnamon nutmeg cloves um i think vanilla um and other things with the pudding that made it taste like gingerbread and it was so good i have never had a pie like that before and i honestly want to start making it every year as well just because it's so different but so good um and i do have the recipe for you guys so if you would like to make it your own um, go ahead and do it and honestly you can make it chocolate or vanilla. They're both so good But so different at the same time. They just they were amazing and it did take long The reason it took me so long though was because of the chocolate I just didn't understand um, and we were doing so many other things at once with this video when we were making food We were just going like it was crazy. We just we got done within like three or four hours with the Thanksgiving that one took us probably like eight to ten hours and so it was just so different and yes we didn't have as much as the Thanksgiving video um, but it was still so filling and so good and so I just hope you guys really like the recipes that I am showing you and I hope you get some good inspo and I would love it if you recreated these and enjoyed them that would just be awesome So it didn't tell me to like put spices in it like um, vanilla or cinnamon or anything like that. I just did that on my own to make it even more spiced and just feel more like gingerbread and just so good. Um, so I do recommend if you are going to make this pie and you want to make the whipped cream, um, put some gin uh, cinnamon in it or like nutmeg or cloves whatever put some of that in the whipped cream and it will make it taste so much better it was just so good um so i mixed it within the pies um the pie cream to make it more fluffy and yummy but then the rest i used that whipped cream to put on top of it and it just made things so much better so I do recommend doing that I also just like experimenting and putting my own love and stuff into different things even if the recipe doesn't call for it um, it's just better to me and I like just expe ex experimenting it's fun <laughs>
this is where we messed up and we were draining the cream for, and like the custard um, that goes into the frog eye. This is where we were draining it and trying to make it not as runny. And then I just ended up adding all the other fruit and the marshmallows and stuff. It didn't sit overnight also. With the Thanksgiving, we prepped that um, the night before. And so that made it even better. It made it taste better. Um, than just letting it sit for a couple of hours because like it becomes thicker and more yummy um, So that's where we messed up, but I was just topping like finishing up the frog eye and I really didn't need to because it wasn't good <laughs> Now we are working on the Christmas tree um, stuffed with spinach and cream cheese um, breadsticks. <laughs> um, sorry, I could not think about that word. I knew what they were, but I could not think of breadsticks for some reason. Like my mouth could not say those words. Um, but that's what we are working on. And this was so good. It turned out so perfect. And again, I went with my own creative self and I added more cheese and seasonings to the top of the crust which you are not supposed to it doesn't call for it it just says top with some parmesan and or like just normal cheese but I went like three different types of cheese like parmesan moz uh, not mozzarella moz yeah mozzarella um, cheddar I just topped it all on the top and then I also put some more Italian seasoning and basil and salt and pepper and all that stuff on the top which made it so good this is something I will keep on making um, and it's honestly not hard <laughs> we just did not know how to do it so it was hard for us as it was our first time doing it so that's also a huge reason but if you are going to make anything from this video and recreate it this is something you need to try um, it's just on Pinterest so you guys can just look it up and it's so easy you just need like frozen spinach cream cheese um, thin crust pizza dough that's from like the Pillsbury brand um, and then just put it together twist it and bake it it's so easy and so delicious and really filling so I really do suggest you trying this out because it was so good. do not have a recipe for I just came up with this one on my own um, it's just butternut squash slabs with some sea salt and rosemary um, you can add other things so maybe garlic butter thyme um, you can do honey butter instead of anything like make it a sweet dessert um, so you can make it however you want but I was just like this is going on the charcuterie board let's do butternut squash baked with rosemary and sea salt and so that's what we did there's really no recipe it's just that's what I did so you can copy that it turned out delicious 
um, and it was just super easy. Just buy a bite of squash, cut it, and add rosemary and sea salt. So easy and so delicious. We only baked it for like seven to 10 minutes, and it came out perfect. And this just went on the charcuterie board. It was a savory charcuterie board. If you don't follow my Instagram, it is Our Little Bloom, um, and I actually show the charcuterie board and what turned out and just a beautiful picture um and i also do stories and little questions polls show my family my son and lots of things that i just made um so like last night i made chicken noodle soup homemade and i shared that on my story so if you do not follow my instagram um, go ahead and follow that. I would love to have you there and you get some more inspiring meal ideas and I also share you some tips and tricks about how I give my son toys and what books he reads and has for his education and learning. He is almost 11 months old. Um, so I'm sharing all of that stuff with you guys and so if you want to learn and know what I'm up to because I don't post everything on my YouTube. I post more on my Instagram just because it's super easy and I would love to have you guys there. So go ahead and follow that account and I would love to have you there. <laughs> deviled eggs so many times before so that is just what I'm doing I'm not giving you like the best view because it's just making deviled eggs you use mustard and paprika and some pickles and mayo and then like the egg yolk and then you just put it inside of the egg outside <laughs> the egg whites um, and so that's just what I did I showed this in my Thanksgiving video as well and if you would like a good view of how I make it you can go back and watch that it'll be up in the corner and you guys can just go watch that if you have not seen it um, it is a really good video I have so many more recipes in that video than this one um, and in this video I actually recreate some of the recipes that I made in that video so if you want to go see that um, it's the Thanksgiving meals and ideas video and I would love for you guys to go watch it and let me know that you went and watched it after this video um, I love making food for you guys and I love see, like well, letting you guys see what I'm making um, because it might help you learn new recipes and want to make more food um, and then for this cheese ball I just bought a cheese ball from the store and I bought some whole almonds and so I'm making it look like a pine cone so I'm just sticking the almonds all in the um, cheese ball to make it look like a pine cone and I think it looked so cute um, and I thought this was such a cute idea to make a cheese ball into a pine cone also it was just green onion flavored with some almonds and it tasted amazing it was so good this charcuterie board was so cute and it just was such a great idea and it also is so different for Thanksgiving that it would be a great not Thanksgiving for your dinner for your Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving honestly I was just thinking about Thanksgiving but it would be good to spice things up for Thanksgiving and do a charcuterie board instead of like turkey or ham or anything however you would like or even throw some meats on your charcuterie board just to spice things up and then for the Christmas dinner you could do the same you can do cheese balls and a charcuterie board I think that's such a cute idea and it just changes things up okay guys so that is it for today's video I hope you got a lot of inspo on Christmas dinners and new recipes and new meals to try out and cook um, I don't know if you will be doing Christmas dinner this year or if you do do one at all this was our first time doing a Christmas dinner and I loved it we found out new recipes and we cooked more and bonded more and just had a better time with the family um, so it meant a lot to me and um, don't forget to check Brittany's beautiful chaos's channel out and give her a big subscribe and a big like and tell her Michaela sent you she is doing Christmas appetizers on her channel and so if you would like to see that 
after this video which is almost done go over and check out our video and i will see you guys next time don't forget to like comment and subscribe and check out my instagram our little blue <laughs>